I heard a rumor that all of the new stuff is coming out on the shelves at the Dollar Tree, so I thought today we would take a trip to the store to see what's new, and I am so excited. I'm hoping I'm gonna see some spring stuff. I'm hoping I'm going to come across some of the things I've been seeing online. So let's head inside the Dollar Tree and see what's new, what's worth the money, and what's a total just passed. Just walked into Dollar Tree and guess what they have? All of their Easter stuff. I don't know why it's out so early, but let's take a peek at all the new stuff. I love this one. If you are new here, I'll say it again. For those that are new, I love blue and white. I love blue and white so much, I just think it's so beautiful. Look at how cute this is. I definitely want that one. <laughs> This one has a cute floral with little bunnies. Cute, cute, cute signs. I'm gonna say cute way too much in this video, so just be prepared. All of these signs seem to be $5, except for these ones, these flat plaques. These are $3, and they are very heavyweight, which is really nice. This one's really pretty, because look at that wood grain texture they have on it. It's not wood, it's particle board, but it looks like wood on the front, which is really cool. And then they have these cathedral windows with little wreaths. These are $5. This is adorable. A little bunny garland. How fun. And then they have the cathedral windows in these three different designs. Okay, we're coming around this corner and oh my word, you guys, did you see the video? <laughs> Did you see the video from yesterday? I was literally just talking about these and I just made one with their um, wood wreaths that they have. They actually have the bunny ones here at my store. If you don't want to DIY it and you want to make it, this is so adorable. <laughs> You're coming home with me. Come on, get in my basket. <laughs> and look at how cute with the moss. Can you see that too? It's got, um, oh, it's not focusing. Hold on a second. I'm trying to make it focus. It's got chicken wire in the ears. I'm trying to make you see the chicken wire. I don't know if you can see it. But it's got chicken wire. That's so cute. How adorable. Those are $5. They've got this cute plus sign and a welcome sign. Those are $3. How sweet with the little corrugated metal carrots. I like that. These are pretty. Very pretty. Okay. I've said it before on my channel. I'm not a big fan of gnomes, but I know that there's a big market for it. So I'm going to just show that for all my friends that like gnomes. Oh my word. Okay, these are amazing. <laughs> these are so expensive. This is a great knockoff of stuff that Pottery Barn does. These are amazing. Oh my word. For all my ribbon friends, look at this. How pretty and how much is on there. That's a good amount. Hold on, let me get it to focus. This is so hard to do with one hand. You see all that ribbon on there? That is so pretty, I love that ribbon. Yeah, I'm gonna get a couple of those. Oh, that's cute, I can see that being a very cute wreath. I'm also going to get some of the green because the green is just so cute with those little polka dots. Perfect for spring. Oh my word, look how cute the carrots and the bunny. Ribbon. Oh, I love those. Okay, let's get back up here. Um, that's adorable. Which one? Which one? I probably honestly would paint these white. I'm just a girl who likes white on her bunnies. They also have a check, which I love that as well. That's cute. These ones look a little skimpy. <laughs> I'll be honest about that one for $5. You can see that they have a lot of bald spots on those, so I don't know if that's a good deal, but it's cute. Yeah, I had a lot of those over my years. This, I saw these online. I am 
so excited about these. These are so pretty. This one in particular. Look at how pretty that is. I'll put that in my basket too. <laughs> these have so much potential. Whether you do them for Easter or not, those are so pretty. And the metal stand. Friends, I know so many of you have been telling me how you don't have the Dollar Plus sections at your stores yet. I was told that by the end of the year, all of the Dollar Trees are gonna have the Dollar Plus sections. Look at how cute. So many crafting potentials with that. Oh my word, I saw these online too. I actually have a collection of these grass bunnies. Oh, and they're only $3, which is so awesome because they sell them for a lot more in other places. This is a great deal. These are $3. $3. How fun is that? The carrot with the bottle brush trees. All the trucks in different colors. Oh, are you getting excited for spring as much as I am? <laughs> these adorable signs. Spring, blessed Easter. They come in three different colors. That's amazing. That is absolutely an amazing deal. I am so excited that they have finally got on board with really trendy shapes. I'm gonna try to grab a blue one. Let's see. <laughs> this is turning into a, a shop with me and I did not intend that to be that way. Okay. I saw these online. Here's a bunch of garlands that they came out with. Which, ah, bunny down. Whoa. <laughs> Hold on a second. Okay. I saw these online and I was wondering how I saw these online and I was wondering how thin they were gonna look. They do look pretty thin. I don't think that this is a good buy for three dollars. Hmm, I'm not a fan of that one. But these are super cute. And these are five bucks. Those are cute. How oh, fun. Very, very, very fun. So right now since Valentine's Day, with Valentine's Day being the next holiday, you're going to see a lot of Valentine's Day in the stores. I love the shape of these. This is a great buy. Super cute farmhouse shape. Love this. I think I'm probably going to get two of that shape because I love using this shape a lot in my home. So many fun things. Little stacked books, frames. That love sign is really cool. These are all $1.25 in here. I love these for the DIYs whenever I do them because it's a nice piece of wood without having to cut a bunch of stuff and you can make a lot of really cool things with those. Those are their new ones that they just came out with for Valentine's Day. If your kids are doing any Valentine's Day things for school, don't ever get them anywhere else because they always have the best options here. They have adorable stamps. I always feel like these are the best buy when you have class gifts to do. Or the pencils. <laughs> awesome if you have any boys that want to give out some boy type gifts sweet little treat bags this is new these are bigger it used to be this size actually here it used to be this size back in the day and this is their new size you can see how much bigger they are these little treat bags that's adorable 
I'm actually gonna get two packs of those. How sweet. Oh my word. Guys, back in the day, I worked at a balloon shop. <laughs> it no longer exists, but it was in California. It was called Herman's Party Supply. Oh, these ones have like confetti and stuff in them. How sweet. Oh, okay, I can't get one of those. Treat bags, socks, scarves, lots of signs. Oh, that one's adorable. That one's cute. Lots of different um, drink containers and straws. Plates containers oh these are kind of fun and there's two so if you want to give out some treats to a loved one those are fun oh these were a hit last year my daughter gave these out and they were a hit all the little girls loved them so much as well as these she gave out the little slinkies too those are really fun to give out for for treats for kids at school. Hmm. So many bags. Don't ever buy bags anywhere but the Dollar Tree. They have the most beautiful bags and they're $1.25. Sometimes you get two, two for one. This is one of those ones where you can get two bags. Cute. Guys, I've got to stop saying cute. I apologize if I keep saying that. They have a lot of new signs this year that they have not had in the past. I feel like this new dollar twenty-five. They really have come up with so many new ideas. That's fun. Big old key. You can cut that apart and use that for all kinds of cute ideas. Oh, these are cute. Little garden stake sign. Little truck. If you like little trucks, the vintage trucks. We've got a pink one too. I almost missed this one. They're heart donuts. That's adorable. As well as that welcome sign. This is a neutral one for all my neutral farmhouse friends. That's a good one to hang on your door. For all my gardening friends. Oh man, look. All the gardening stuff is out. Mm. They also this year came out with these cool domes for all of my seed sowing friends. Those are really, really cool. They're normally very expensive in other places. Anyone else get excited about box end caps like this? <laughs> I'm always like, oh, what's in those boxes? Here's the treat aisle. Oh, this is some of their new organization stuff. These are the new colors. A gray, a mauve. I wouldn't say this was mint. It's almost like a cross between mint and olive, but it's really pretty. It's not even sage. <laughs> I, would, I don't know what I would call that color, but, and this is one of their new patterns. Lots of fun new storage. More gnomes for all my gnome people. Lots of containers. So recently they've moved around some things in this store and one of the things, I know these have been around for a while, but they have these again in stores right now. Those are so great for little treat candy jar stations or for crafts. You could put flowers, brads, like 
just cute little projects that you need to have a holder for them. I picked up these recently. I love these. I think these are so beautiful. Here is their other dollar plus section and there is so much goodness in here. These wooden hearts. That is so farmhouse cute and it's huge. Look at my hand. For five bucks, that big old thing. Oh, that's <laughs> better together. I almost feel like you need to DIY two of them together and then that would just make it 10 times cuter. They brought back more of these really long signs. There's a neutral one, home sweet home. Oh my word, friends, they must have just stocked all of this. Look at this. Look at that. And this is five bucks. Hmm. So pretty. Gnomes are out hot and heavy right now. <laughs> seeing lots and lots of gnomes. Oh, a table runner. That's cool. That's very cool. I do really like this one. All my neutral friends. Not so pretty. Oh, those are cute. I just DIY'd something like that. Oh. Here's a flower ball. Hmm. And then they also have some bundle of flowers. I love these. I like picking this kind of stuff up a lot whenever we are doing snacks and treats as a family. And I know you're supposed to use them for baking, but I like putting treats in these, especially for like get togethers with family members. So not everyone's hands are going into bowls. <laughs> Cuts down on germs. I almost missed this one. I know I showed it, but that's pretty. That one's five bucks. Oh, I feel like you can do that one probably a little cheaper than five bucks. <laughs> if you hear me whispering, it's because I'm not trying to be offensive. A crafter is always going to be a crafter. You're going to see things and think, I can make that cheaper. Okay, now we're in their new garden section. They have some wall art stuff. I always think that these are so funny. <laughs> we don't have one at our house, but I think they're hilarious. <laughs> they've got the little solar panel thing on the back so it can charge up. They have some of these benches. That blue one's really pretty. Good sized pots. Nice thick plastic, that's great. Those are gonna go fast. <laughs> I think that these are so pretty. And with spring coming up, oh, they're solar panel, you guys. They have them in uh, pretty light blue, white, and black. Oh my word, these are so cool. Look, I just, hold on a second. I just grabbed some of these. How cool. <laughs> Sorry, hold on a second. <laughs> Again, try and do this with one hand. I think if you were to, hold on, let's see if I can hook it on. <gasps> Look at how cool that would be if you staked that in your yard. And then you can put them anywhere in your yard and light things up. That is so cool. These are huge. They are a very, large gardening bucket that is a great deal how much is this rooting it around three bucks this is a great deal I am a big time gardening person and that is a great deal for those and these ones are heavier plastic so these ones are a little bit more obviously from the manufacturing side they had to charge more for those ones they have some lights Stools, little benches. Oh, that's fun. This is very cool. That's very neat. 
for my essential oils friends a salt lamp these all seem to be about five bucks I think anything that's electronic they charge more for those anything that's a thicker surface or layer they charge more for those Ooh, a little boombox speaker all right we're entering my my favorite sections <laughs> besides the dollar plus because it's just so fun and new but here's all the craft stuff a lot of the things in here still look relatively the same but I know they have some new things coming out real soon we still have some more more dollar plus stuff over here in this section I do however spot a whole bunch of new things in here this is new these are new this is new you could cricket something on that that would be really cool um these frames that's a new chalkboard <laughs> i came here the other day and miriam asked me to buy her this <laughs> she has so many wands you guys she doesn't need it <gasps> This is new. Ooh. That's cool. That's cool to put on a wreath. I think I'm going to get two of those. I do try really hard not to clean out certain things because I want you all to be able to get a hold of stuff too. <clears throat> Here's more of these. Oh. Do look for ones that are centered though. That one's not centered. This is their whole new wood line that they're coming out with for signs. I've got a hexagon. This is a little easel. Um, let's see what it says. Oh, that's adorable. That's super cute. I'm gonna get just one. We're gonna be good. Just one. I, I'm a still I'm a sucker for gingham. I know a lot of people have moved on from it, but I have not. I don't see any other ones in here. These just look like the old signs. Oh, this stuff looks kind of picked over, doesn't it? Oh, you guys. That's exciting. Do you know how many times I have taken apart those frames that have this corrugated metal in it? <laughs> And now they're just selling a sheet of it. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna get some of those. Oh, they're kinda loud. <laughs> Let's put that in my cart. Okay. This is neat. Here's a larger easel. That's a nice size for that. Oh, that's pretty for Valentine's. Oh, oh, what? They have copper. They have a copper one, too. Huh. So many fun things. I'm sure I'm probably skipping over some things that everyone's wanting to see, and I apologize if I missed it. Here's all the vinyl. Okay, wait. We had tons of friends online that were getting this vinyl stuff and I was never getting it in my store. I'm just thinking, I'm never gonna get it. After a year later, I finally have vinyl. So just, again, be patient, friends. Eventually it's gonna show up. It just takes time for them to get it to each store. This is adorable. I'll get one of those. I almost missed these. They have a bunch of metal letters. It's cute if you're working on a project, Ooh, almost wasn't in focus. It's cute if you're working on a project where you're doing out the whole alphabet. If you're not, it would be quite a bit of letters you'd have to get. Because <laughs> you can see that they have A through M and then N through Z. But I think I will get a pack of just the metal numbers because I like the numbers. The numbers are cool. In their wreath section, I know that they have more wreath shapes coming. They have the wagon wheel. They have the traditional one. They've got a star, a cross, and then they still have the 3D 
wreath forms. But I know that there's a couple more coming out. There was one with like a bunny shaped head, which I'm like super giddy about because I have a project that I want to make with that bunny head. I thought I would come in the beauty hair section too and share because they actually have some new stuff in here. Some clips and things that, uh, they're pretty. Lots of new little girl bows. I feel like this is a whole new line that they're doing for little girl headbands and bows. Let's see. I also noticed all of these. These are all new. I don't remember these being in here. I feel like this is a whole new collection that they're doing. Which these are on trend right now. Headbands are a little bit thicker and pretty. It is so funny how if you just wait, things come back into style and trend. For example, Exhibit A and Exhibit B. When I was a teenager, these were so popular. When I was a little girl, these were so popular. And now they're all back. Like, look at this. They even have like all the Barbie type colorful <laughs> color choices that they have here. How did that become popular again? I could never keep these though as a young mom because my kids thought they were the coolest things ever. They would steal them and then they would use them to pick up like their Lego people <laughs> or whatever toy they had. Wow, even the big ones are popular again. That's cool. Don't spend more than a dollar twenty-five. They have them all here, all of these clips. Yeah, they have a lot of new stuff here. Oh. They got a do-rag up in here. This is so cool that they actually have like a section for different types of hairstyles because not everybody has straight hair. We have different types of hair in this world. That's pretty cool that they're catering to different hair types. I love that. I mean, you all know I have super, super, super curly hair. Those are great. Those are giant rubber bands, hair bands ouchless. I'm still not a fan of these though because I still feel like they pull my hair out. I am a traditional scrunchy girl. That's just me. Oh my word. I just found them. I saw these online and I did not think I was going to find them and they're sitting right here. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> oh my word. They are a lighter metal so I will tell you that they're not like super heavy. But, all my farmhouse friends, what a great deal. I feel like thrift stores have been marking the prices up on these because they know they're trendy. And you can get it here for $1.25. You can even order a case of them online if you want to get more than like one or two and you want to use them for parties. This is new too. Not my style, but it is definitely something new I was very excited I found these a couple months back I think these are just put out of place they're in the home section normally oh my word look I found the shorter ones because there's two different heights I found the shorter ones you guys that is so cool yay Oh, I think there's three different heights. Hold on a second. Move out of the way, dog brush. Hold on. I think there's three different heights. I did not realize there are three different heights. That's exciting. I love these jars so much. I'm gonna do a DIY with this one. These are so beautiful and you can do so many pretty, pretty things with them. Okay, one of the other things that they started doing new this year is they actually have a more holistic section if you don't want to use traditional candles. They have room mists that you can do. They have these mini diffusers. They also have essential oils that they're coming out with right now. And they have all these different scents that you can use, which is pretty cool. So keep a lookout for all of those type of things that are more holistic. And you saw over in the $5 plus section that they actually had a larger diffuser, which is really cool too. 
I actually have a DIY coming up and I need some of this. Oh, I'm breaking stuff on my own cart. <laughs> this is a great deal. I know other stores, they sell this at the same size tub. And I think it's like five bucks and you can get it here for a dollar. Twenty-five. Okay, and they also now have caulk in a squeezable tube with a tip that has a covering on it, which is a really great deal for a dollar twenty-five. Here they are. Those oh so famous tiles that I've been using a lot and everybody else. Such a good deal. I love these tiles so much. They have lots of other options, but those tiles, in my opinion, I think are the best ones of all of them. Pretty much all the same stickers. There's a couple new ones in here, like these butterflies. These are pretty. I think I'm gonna get one of those. A couple more things to share in the home section. They have these really nice wall mounts so you can hang up your keys. I like that. They also have a more of these uh, pill wall stickers that's what they're calling them wallpaper they're calling them wallpaper but these are great for diys i wanted to share this one this is new and they have a second version which is this one it says home and then these i don't know how new these are but i feel like these are new so i'm going to get a couple of them for a project that i'm going to work on but they have them in a wood grain and they have them in black. I like those. They also have a lot of these wood signs. These are all new too, which is really pretty. Well, that looks new too. I think this is this whole new line they're coming out with. The wreath just fell off. <laughs> wreath down, wreath down. Hold on a second. Gotta put that back on there. Okay, another thing to note in the home section, they have tarps now. So if you need a quick tarp, and that is a good size tarp. They've got, um, I actually really love these oil pans a lot for a lot of projects. Keeping this around in your garage and in your craft room, those are really great to use. Like if you're putting glitter on something <laughs> and then it's got this little pour mount that you can pour stuff back out in. I like those a lot. Yeah, they've got a lot of new home improvement stuff too. I noticed this time around that I haven't seen before. Here is all of the craft section for Valentine's Day. They've got wood hearts, some cute little crafts. I always love the crafts. I'm always a fan of the crafts. Here are the grapevine hearts that were so hard to find last year. And we have them here in the store now. Those are so pretty. I'm so excited they have those so you guys can find them finally. A lot more, a lot more craft stuff. Some ribbon, lots of love, XOXO and home signs. Oh, these are new. It says kisses. Try not to get the glare on all these bags. It says kisses and the other one says hug. And I, oh, there's one that says XOXO. I wonder, oh, this is a pom-pom garland. That's interesting, that's cool. There was this one thing I saw online and I've been looking for it. It's a heart-shaped bead wreath where it's all the wood beads and I haven't been able to find it. I just don't think that they've put it out yet, but I'm looking for that one. How cute, a little love bug. What a lost opportunity, it should have said love bug. <laughs> That's adorable. Oh my word, friends, these are so cute. Oh, those are precious. Those are precious. They should be all over a wreath, a whole bunch of them. How cute, you could stuff them with little letters, how adorable. They have St. Patrick's Day stuff. I don't personally do crafts for St. Patrick's Day, but I know a lot of you do. Ignore the cars because I'm by the street. But look at how cute some of these signs are. All the adorable crafts you'd be able to make with all of this stuff. Some socks. We've got a couple scarves. Some window clings. 
That looks a little bit like the Lucky Charms guy. <laughs> and we've got all of this fun, good stuff over here. The one that caught my eye walking up was this pot of gold. So if you have Irish roots, so fun for these ones. That trip was a little too successful. <laughs> my total was 117. I went in there saying that I was only going to spend like 20 bucks and it was because all the spring stuff is out. The things that I have been looking at online. So that was definitely my budget for the entire <laughs> month. So <clears throat> that was a very successful trip we'll say. And I cannot wait to get crafting with those things that I have found. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Now, I wanna address it one more time. I said it earlier in the video. Friends, don't feel bummed out if you don't have the dollar plus sections yet. One of the managers that I've become friends with because I'm here way too often, one of the managers told me that every store at the end of 2023 is supposed to have the dollar plus sections. So be patient, they're coming. And there's always options to purchase online. It's just, you have to buy them in bulk. So that's kind of the hang up about buying online. And I'm sure almost everyone has looked that up to find out if you can buy online or not, but that's kind of the scoop with buying online. Anyway, please do give this video a thumbs up. It always helps out my channel. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you don't miss tomorrow's video because I have a fun new project coming up to share. Thanks so much for stopping by and until the next episode, bye friends.